Aha! Copy of Shallow Teen. Mm mm, smell that judgment. The fashions may be months out of date, but it doesn't really matter because I wear the same thing every day. Although I look totally pretty in this outfit. Ugh. I was just about to laugh at the article about girls with body image problems. This sucks. Why do I have to help you find your magazine? You didn't help me when I was looking for the key to your room. Mom said this is your punishment for breaking into my room and reading my diary. I don't know what the big deal is. Nobody got mad at me when I read Anne Frank's diary. Why do you want this stupid magazine anyway? It's always full of stuff like 10 ways to French kiss. Are you ever gonna smooch in this place? You never know. Hello, Zach. I've been waiting. Oh, what happened? Where am I? You're not in the movie business anymore. You live in this canyon now, and I'm your girlfriend, and you're really into me. Okay, but I think that fall affected my memory. I can only think of eight ways to French kiss. Oh, lover muffin, don't you worry. I know the other two. <laughs> <gasps> Is that my magazine? No, something cooler. Yeah, as if that's even possible. Eh, it's just a book. And a bottle. It must belong to a university professor. Those are the only nerd alcoholics I can think of. Let's take this to Nalapats. He's got the only bottle opener in the canyon. You should see how he makes me tap a keg. Professor Ichabod Dooley's therapeutic elixir and engine degreaser. Oh. I don't think this is safe to drink. J'adore le char qui porte les pantalons rouges. Oh, watch out, everyone. He's gone foreign. I think he's speaking French. I recognize some of those words from a movie I walked out of because it was in French. Well, whatever it is, I think it's beautiful. J'ai besoin de mon chapeau dans la bibliothèque. <laughs> Dear God, please give me the strength to look away right now, or if you prefer, in your merciful way, make me blind. Hey, Roxy, look. This isn't any stupid book. It's a diary. Oh, well then, I'm sure you've read it, because you're really good at reading other people's diaries. Yeah, but this one isn't full of garbage about how cute the middle Jonas brother is. Joe. His name is Joe. Whatever. This is the journal of Robin Banks, the notorious bank robber. He was a bank robber and his name was Robin Banks? It says here he was born Idzok Wasserstein, but he changed it to assimilate with the other criminals. 
Good call. I used to come here with Horatio and Silas every time after we it socked a bank. I mean robbed. This time, we had stolen a wagon from a snake oil salesman to carry our supplies. We holed up here behind an impenetrable door with our own special lock. But as we hid and waited for the law to give up on us, Silas got injured while we were out for a walk. Soon, our food started running low and Silas was getting weak. That night, without me knowing, Horatio, claiming it was an act of mercy, killed Silas and began cooking it. I was so horrified, I could hardly eat. I do have to say, the elixir made for an excellent sauce. That's gross. Can't taste any worse than Mom's meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Normie, it's nice of you to take me out to lunch, but I was in the middle of making meatloaf. Um, you know, sometimes it's nice just to all of a sudden throw your food onto the ground and take your wife out for a nice meal. You deserve a break from cooking. Besides, we had meatloaf just last month. We want a bag. We want a bag. We want a bag. What are they doing? They call it the wishing boulder. They believe the rock is magic and will bring them things. Those boys are three beans short of a three bean salad. <gasps> oh no! I've just given away my secret recipe! We want a bike! We want a bike! Oh, that's pretty sad. You know, I could just make them a bike. Don't do it, Norm. This is between the two boys and the rock. We've now become hungry again, and I've become suspicious of Horatio. I think he's planning to do to me what he did to Silas. He seems to already be testing how I might taste. So, afraid for my life, I took a bottle of elixir and started off into the canyon, making a map so I could eventually find my way back and figure out how to get my two keys to open the door. Map? Two keys? What is he talking about? Why'd you stop reading? I don't know, that's the end. See, this is why I never read books. Better living through engineering. No good can come of this, Norm. Come on, Sheila. I'm like Santa Claus would be if he owned a razor and a treadmill. Ow! It's not lighting on fire. I guess you were right. You ain't wood. Well, then what the heck am I? <clears throat> Maybe I'll try an animal noise. <laughs> what a great bike! Hey, did you see this great bike? Yeah, Norm, I think you're doing a lady bear. I'm uh. sorry. It's not you. It's me. I can see subtlety isn't going to work here. Hey, you guys! The Rock brought you a bike! <gasps> a bike! Yeah! The Wish of Mother's Real! See, Sheila? Is there anything more precious than a child's smile? Uh. <laughs> okay, now you do me. Okay, forget about the keys. Let's just find that map. It tells us how to get out of here. A way out? <gasps> We're out! We're free. Now you can take me to my prom. Gee, sorry, Roxy. I thought you understood you were just my canyon girlfriend. See you around. Why did I dream that? Roxy, look! The map is on the label! Now say my name in French! Verno. Wow! So different! Jake, this place is creepy. Like that school janitor who had hooks for hands creepy. We need to pass through here to get to the way out. Now, come on. <gasps> Ow, that hurt. Like when the school janitor gave me a high five. Okay, we just have to be careful not to get hit. And it should be easy since we know where the water's coming from. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem so scared now. Yeah, I'm not. Seeing you get hurt made me feel happy. Thanks, Jake. Ah! <laughs> 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 Whoa! Let's just get out of here. Absolutely. We, we want pogo sticks. 
We want pogo sticks! What happened to your bike? Go! And still champion! So now you want pogo sticks? Yeah, so we can jump like kangaroos instead of just pretending to be them. Baby Sly keeps peeing in my pants. Well, maybe if you run along and be good, the wishing boulder might come through. Hear that, baby butch? All our dreams are coming true! <sighs> what does it matter if we get to the door anyway? We still don't have the two keys mentioned in the journal. You're right. This whole thing is stupid. What the hell is that? Ah! I killed a guy! Shut your face, Jake. It's a skull. It's obviously been there for a long time. <sighs> oh, well then. In that case... Ah! Corp scooties! Wait! This is his head. Where's the rest of his body? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is Robin Banks' skeleton. Yeah, that. And you got a skull in your shirt. <laughs> you already made them a bike. What happened to that? It's not important. What is important is bringing hope and joy to the uneducated lower class. Like a lottery does. And check this out. I've also been working on my male bear calls. <laughs> hey, you kids! What great pogo sticks! Shut up, you stupid bear! I'm trying to nap! Oh! Pogo sticks! Hey! I know how we could have more fun with these! Ah, that is fun! Ah, ah. <coughs> oh. <laughs> I've turned around. There is no way out of the canyon except the way in. But I fear I will never get back to the door, and I suppose the curse is to blame. Curse? None of this would have happened had I listened to my horoscope, the same one I pasted into the appendix of this journal. An appendix? And I thought bank robbers were cool. OMG, he's a Pisces. Today is an auspicious day. Be sure not to defile an Indian burial ground. <laughs> had disturbed the burial ground, but thankfully hadn't defiled anything. Oh dear, I defiled it. I ran, but the curse quickly stopped me. Oh, thank God! Good boy! Pull me free! <laughs> ah, bad boy! Very bad boy! As this snake slowly digests me and these fire ants build a saloon in my crotch, I realize I will die here. So I write this to help anyone stuck in this canyon in the future. The keys I am referring to are... Oh, come on! Story checks out. This must be the burial grave. The way out is just on the other side. Okay, but, like, what about the curse? The only curses I believe in are the ones we hear when Mom burns toast. Now, come on, what could possibly happen? Remember, everyone, if we do get out of here, I'm taking credit for it. I've announced it, so don't act shocked when it happens. Huh? What are you guys doing here? We all watched Sid speak French for a while, and then watched him have some other pretty entertaining side effects. <laughs> but then we got bored. We noticed you guys had left, so we followed your tracks thinking you'd found something else. And look what I found on the way. Scully want a cracker? <laughs> it's funny, right? Because it's a dead human skull. Finally, someone I can relate to. How did you guys get here? It's kind of a long story. Hey, we got time. Why don't you tell it to us from the beginning? Every detail. Don't leave anything out. I want to hear it all. Okay, fine. Well, when we found the bottle, we also found a diary. Hey, folks. While Roxy recounts his story for everyone, why don't I entertain you with some of my whistling? And in conclusion, it appears that the way out is right over there. 
just across this super ghetto Indian burial ground. Can I bury this Indian? That's racist, and you know it. I'm not scared. I eat curses for breakfast. Plus about a pound of bacon. Take that, Indian burial ground! Wait, let me get in front. You're, you're leading all wrong. I wouldn't go there if I was you. Bad things will happen. I didn't know you guys were superstitious. We're into everything weird. As far as curses go, that is not a very good one. I bet that's just the start. You should go and come back now. We're already cursed. Let's just keep going and be careful. Elixir. Dynamite. Gold! Lots of gold! Oh, this guy must have robbed a lot of banks. We're not just going to get out, we're going to be rich! Mandy, make a note of my calendar to let them rebuild and then blow it up again. Yes, Mr. Wendells. Hi, friend. Do you want me to take my top off while you eat yourself to death? <laughs> what are you waiting for, friend treasure? What? Huh? Treasure! I said treasure! What are we waiting for? Let's take the gold and go! Vernon, listen. We can't go anywhere unless we can get out that door. And we're not getting out without the two keys the journal mentioned. I'm not about to let a simple door stop me. Forget it. We're screwed. No, we can't give up. We just need to find the two keys. They need to be around here somewhere. Why was Horatio so small? Why did Silas have his own blanket? Horatio was a monkey and Silas was a donkey! Two keys! The door opens with two keys! A monkey and a donkey! What? Puns are stupid, but if it gets us out of here... A monkey? A donkey? That doesn't make any sense, mate. You're completely burnt out. You remind me of myself today. Ooh. Ah, this was the perfect lock. You could only open it with a monkey's hand, and I bet a donkey hoof. Okay, so we have a monkey, but we do not have a donkey. Oh, we are trapped! We don't have a donkey, but we do have someone whose foot we could make into a hoof. First of all, that tickles. Second of all, start cutting! Anything to get us the hell out of here! <laughs> Stop! Oh, oh, I think I just sapped my pants! We want fireworks! We want fireworks! Listen, guys, it seems like the wishing bowler has done a lot already. It isn't nice to get too greedy. But we want fireworks! Yeah, we like booms! The wishing bowler says it can't bring you fireworks. They're too dangerous. We want booms! We want booms! I think you mean boobs, and I think you are a little young. But who am I to judge? Yeesh. <gasps> I like making people happy. What's going on? Both Frida and the boys are acting inappropriately. And as a result, none of them are getting fireworks. Stupid boulder won't give us booms. There. That looks good. Let's try it. Now, turn! There's a rock 
are coming! There was something to that curse after all. Every one of us that got involved suffered. Not everyone. J'ai croit le voir était trop loin. Et je vais maintenant peut-être soigner et mourir. that I've finished my PhD and accepted my dream job. There's something I want to ask. Will you marry me? Oh, Stephen, I will marry you. Now there's something I have to tell you. I'm pregnant <laughs> with twins. Oh, I forgot to mention, we won the lottery. Fifty million dollars. <laughs> Hang on. I separated my shoulder, but as long as that little girl's kitten is all right, that's fine by me. I'll see you at home every day for the rest of my life. Oh, I love you, Stephen. And I love you. In the yellow. I love this part. Let's go, Rainbow. Let's go, Rainbow. He was like that when we found him. <laughs>